Hi folks, in this video I'm going to review the Epson Rapid Receipt RR600W. They send me this scanner, in exchange I'll make an honest video review and I'm going to let you know what do I think of it. Now let me start opening it up. And in the box there are four things. We get some paperwork here, we get the actual uh, scanner itself, we have, um, which is basically the paper holder, I don't know what that's called, and we have a little box here that has the cables. Let's see what cables we have. So it's a power cable and a USB cable. You're going to see the power input here. You're going to see the USB uh, input here for plugging it to a computer. And then an external USB source, which is most likely for plugging in a USB drive or something like that. So you can save the document into that USB drive. It's pretty small, like if you look at sideways, it's about the size of my head. So it's a pretty small scanner. The footprint is pretty small. If you look at, in reference to my chest, a little bit smaller than the size of my chest. There's a power button right here, and there is a screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this for a week or two, and then I'm gonna come back to you, kind of show you step by step what I've done and my thoughts about it. All right, I was able to test the scanner for a couple of weeks during my basic tax season, and I'm happy to report it's a really, really solid piece of machine. Now, one thing to point out is this is both a Wi-Fi standalone scanner and also a USB scanner you plug into a computer. I'm actually going to plug it in and install the drivers right from the start to get the setup going. Then I'm going to unplug it and use it in Wi-Fi mode. So I'm kind of going to show you both experiences. First thing you want to do, and this is true for any sort of new hardware you install into your computer or into your system, is you want to go into the website and download the latest, most updated drivers. I'm going to put a copy of the link in the description below so you know where to go, but it should be pretty easy to navigate uh, if you do it on your own. So we're going to finish the installation process, and then comes the setup. In the setup screen, it's going to kind of walk you through the process of installing it, of detecting it, or setting up the settings. That should be a pretty simple process. It should also ask you to do a firmware update. You should always do that. You need to have the computer plugged in in order to do a firmware update. That's to update the actual hardware, which is always recommended because hardware manufacturers are going to have new updated software for the internal workings of the scanner itself. So we're going to go through and do the firmware update. And when that's completed, it's going to ask you to uh, register the product. I recommend you do your product registration for warranty purposes, for tech support. So you want to go through that process. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go look for the software I just installed called Epson Smart Scan Smart. So we're going to run Epson Scan Smart. First thing that it's going to do is say, hey, where's your scanner? So if it's plugged into the physical computer, it will detect it. If it's on the Wi-Fi, like I have it now, it will detect it as well. So you only need, really need to have it plugged in for the firmware update. Once you have that done, then you're good to go. You can work this thing 100% in Wi-Fi mode. Let's do a test scan here. I can either choose to do single-sided or double-sided duplex mode, so I get to choose whichever I want. Let's start the scanning process. I got like 10 sheets here in, um, in the scanner. So as you see, it takes about maybe two or three seconds per page. It's really, really fast. Uh, this is in black and white mode. If you do uh, put it in full color mode and increase the resolution, the scanning process will be slower. This is a normal phenomenon in any uh, both black and white color scanner you will work with. So once I scan it, I get the choice to email it, send it to the cloud like Google Drive, Dropbox, or just save it in my computer. That's the most common thing. Let me save it, choose the folder, save it in my computer as normal, and then I can go open it up and fetch it in my computer. So you got that choice. You can save it in your computer or you can send it to the cloud, whichever one uh, works better for you. All right, now what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Epson Connect. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, go to epsonconnect.com uh, forward slash activation, get the activation code from the scanner, type the activation code in there. That way we're gonna, uh, with Epson Connect, we're gonna be able to scan straight to the cloud using the scanner in Wi-Fi mode. So that's really what you do. You, you go to epsonconnect.com forward slash activate, enter the code that's in your 
scanner, agree to all the terms, create your user ID and password, because that's how you're going to be accessing Epson Connect in the future. You put your user ID and password, uh, save it, and then you'll be able to log in. Once you're logged in into Epson Connect and, uh, and you enter the username and password that you created at the beginning, you will notice that it says uh, suspended, where it says uh, scan to the cloud. It says suspended because I just started this and I haven't linked my Epson Connect to any of my cloud uh, apps yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where it says uh, scan to cloud on the left navigation bar and click on destination list. In there, I'm going to click on add and I'm going to choose uh, which cloud app I want to upload to. Let's choose Google Drive. Click on next and then you go through the authentication process in uh, Google Drive. You put your Gmail user ID and password um, and then it connects and once it's fully connected, you will then notice that uh, your uh, Epson Connect website will ask you, hey, what's the name of the folder that you would like to name uh, where all the files are going to be dumped into your Google Drive? So you put your, your folder names, you're going to create that folder in your Google Drive and then you fully activate it, uh, your Google Drive. You're going to see it on your destination list. If you go back to the status, it no longer says suspended. It now shows you that it's enabled. That means we're ready, at least with this one app, we're ready to start scanning to the cloud. So let's give this a shot here. Let's put a bunch of papers there. We're going to pick cloud. We're going to select the destination. There's only one there that says Google, uh, Google Drive there. So I'm going to select Google Drive and then click on start. And then we're going to scan straight into the cloud. So this, this file is not going to be saved into the computer. This is going to go straight into my Google Drive. So I don't have to interact with the computer it, while I do the scanning. This all happens uh, completely independent from the computer. This is on Wi-Fi mode. You're going to notice it's going to be a little bit slower because it's scanning and sending it to the web at the same time. So that's the only kind of drawback, you know, co comparison between scanning straight into the computer or going into the cloud. So you're going to have to, uh, you know, bear with it um, and wait until that completes. And once it's finished, it will t tell you, the, the screen on the scanner will tell you, this has been completed, this is done. I can go back into my Epson uh, Connect. I can see on the history that, that those 41 pages were scanned. Now I can go log into my Google Drive. So I'm going to go straight into my Google Drive. This happens pretty much immediately. Go into my Google Drive, and you're going to see the file right there, the, the last file that it was added. And I can see that, that my documents were uh, uploaded. Great. Next thing is I can go into destination list. I can uh, add one more. I'm going to add now email. So I want to do scan straight email. I'm going to click on email address and I'm going to set up the, 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 the general settings for the email. First, I'm going to put what my name is. Then I'm going to put the email and then uh, the description if I need to add it or leave the default subject in there and then click on continue. You can, you can customize these if you want that experience to be unique in terms of what that looks like in your email. So now you see both destinations there. Now when I go scan anything uh, and I select scan to cloud, it will ask me, it will give me two choices. It'll be either, you know, the Google Drive or the email. So I'm gonna just gonna st scan straight to email. So same, I'm gonna do one of the last pages. Experience is pretty similar just to kind of illustrate the process. Then I'm gonna go into my email so we can see what the document looks like. And there it is, there's my scanned document. And that's it. Now I'm gonna show you one of the most innovative things that this scanning system has, which is I'm gonna scan a receipt straight into QuickBooks Online. So I'm gonna show you the process. I'm gonna take my, my receipt, put it in my scanner, then in my Epson ScanSmart, I'm gonna click on Manage Invoice Receipts. Then I'm gonna click on Scan and Add, Scan New Invoice Receipt. That's scanning 
on my scanner over here. Done, that's completed. Now this is gonna show me a quick preview of what that looks like. So if I'm okay with that, I'm gonna click on proceed to invoice receipt manager. In the invoice receipt manager, you will notice that receipt got scanned and the software uh, did an, a quick OCR and detected a lot of the information. It detected the vendor name, the date issued, amount, tax, all right, there's some options here to choose classification and tax category. We're not going to get too deep into those. Right now, all we did was receipt, I mean, uh, scan that receipt. Then we're going to click on export and save. It's going to ask me, where would you like to save this? I'm going to click on QuickBooks Online. And then I'm going to export this as an expense. I'm going to click on connect so I can establish that connection between QuickBooks Online and um, my my Epson. So I'm going to just log into my QuickBooks Online account, click on sign in. It's going to ask me what, what's the name of the company file. So I got a company file called construction company. So I'm going to link that. That's assuming you have multiple company files. Otherwise, you would just have that one company file and you would just click on connect. You would have to pick it. I happen to have multiple company files. So I'm going to click on connect. And then it says Copy the following access code and paste it into SmartScan. So I'm going to copy that, copy that in there, go back into my SmartScan. It asked me to paste the access code in there, click on paste, then I click on OK. So that's going to make that connection between your Epson scanner and your software and QuickBooks Online. Then I'm going to click on OK. And then I'm going to click on OK one more time. You're going to wait until the file or the the document gets sent into QuickBooks Online. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and open QuickBooks Online so we can kind of see what that looks like. So I'm in QuickBooks Online. I'm gonna click on my recent transactions button here and see right there what happened. I'm gonna open that up and then uh, what will happen is uh, QuickBooks went in there and created a vendor called Home Depot. It selected the credit card that it paid from. This is probably, I guess, based on the last four digits of the credit card that's showing up down here. This is not always gonna be perfect, uh, but you know you can just change it on the fly. It puts a transaction date. It creates a category called Epson ScanSmart. It just creates an expense account called that, which you can rename afterwards if you want to. And then when I click down here where it says image, I can see the actual image. Took a lot of extra steps because I was scanning receipts into QuickBooks for the very first time, but I'm gonna scan another receipt and I'm gonna go straight into QuickBooks so you can see what the process is. I'm going to click here where it says Manage Invoice and Receipts. Then I'm going to click on Scan and Add, Scan New Invoice and Receipt. Scan the receipt. Okay, that was scanned. And then you're going to see right here a quick preview. I'm going to go ahead and click on Proceed to Invoice and Receipt Manager. Now it's going to open up the file. It's going to be OCR, right? So some of these texts will be read. Notice that it read the total um, and the vendor. Now, a couple of things. Once we connect QuickBooks for the first time, we can click on the drop-down menu and you're gonna have a whole bunch of vendors. The vendors are, are in your QuickBooks file. So this will now bring in your QuickBooks file vendor list. If you go to um, the cards, notice I can choose uh, which card I can have. If I have multiple cards in my, uh, in my QuickBooks account, I can, I can select which credit card I'm paying from or which bank account I'm, I'm paying from. So instead of QuickBooks just trying to guess, I'm going to have it, okay, this money came out of my BOA Visa card. So I'm specifically going to tell it what it is. And then under classification, I'm also going to give it the category. So I'm going to put this into office expenses. So as you can see, you got you have the option to have just QuickBooks sort of, I mean, Epson make it up and put it in QuickBooks however it wants to or it thinks it should. Or you kind of have the option to to to, to grab it right before it gets into QuickBooks and make those changes really quick. Here on comments, I'm gonna put uh, for new office or something like that, just so you can kind of see what it looks like when we interfere with the scanning to QuickBooks process in this screen. Now I'm gonna click on export and save, select QuickBooks online. I'm gonna send this as an expense. I got the option to send it as a bill, check or a vendor credit. I'm gonna hit um, okay and now this is gonna now send that receipt, that expense into uh, QuickBooks Online and it's gonna put it in the correct category. Let's open up QuickBooks again over here. 
I'm going to click on my recent transactions search box here so we can see that Walmart transaction. It happened immediately. I didn't even have to think about it. So immediately it come up, comes up in my QuickBooks file. It goes to the right vendor because we selected them from the vendor list. It goes into the right source account, the credit card that it came from. It goes into the right category and the memo there where it says for new office. If I click on my image, my receipt is attached to that transaction. It's great. All right. Now I'm going to show you how it works with scanning a whole bunch of receipts. First thing you want to do is you want to grab your receipts. You want to kind of pack them together nicely. You know, there are receipts, they are wrinkled. You, you know, you do want to make sure there's no staples or anything kind of folded in there. I mean, that's going to be true to any type of scanner that you're going to, you're going to work with. Are uh, you going to put it in the sheet feeder and you're going to tighten up the, 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 the holders there the guides and you want to put it there as tight as possible. Don't put too many of them. I put like 20 in this particular example. I'm going to go ahead and just scan it to an email. So I'm going to email it to myself and click on start. If, if any start kind of falling off, just put them back in line. Remember, it's a bunch of loose papers, right? It's not like a full-size paper that will stay organized. That's the issue with receipts always. All right, so there you go. So that's about uh, 15, 20 receipts in less than a minute, which is really, really fast. And that uh, should be completed. So once you get the confirmation that those have been scanned, you can just uh, get rid of the receipts, uh, recycle them or shred them. Let me jump into my email so we can kind of see what, uh, what what we got from Epson on the Wi-Fi scanning. So I'm just going to open up the email, open up the attachment, and there it is. There are all my receipts. So if you we scroll down over here, we kind of see all the receipts that we scanned. We scanned um, about eight, about 20 something receipts all I guess in less than a minute. Last thing worth mentioning here on the paperwork that I got from uh, from when I opened the box, there's going to be a serial number for an included software called Kofax Power PDF. And it's a really powerful PDF editor. I'm going to I installed it in a in a Mac, it works in a PC as well. I'm going to go ahead and open up those receipts that I just scanned and I'm going to convert them. I'm going to what's called an OCR. I'm going to I'm going to open it in the software so it it converts it to text, to readable text. We're going to go through all the pages, just click on each page and it'll automatically convert it into OCR. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do something just kind of awkward here so you can kind of see the power of OCR in your receipts. So for example, now that this receipt has been OCR, I can select the text as if it was a Word file. I'm actually going to like copy the name of the person in the receipt, I guess like manager or the or the cashier or whatever it is. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into, I'm going to save this file and I'm going to go into my computer and I'm just going to do a search for that name. So I just go into my regular search box. I'm using a Mac PC also has a find feature. I'm going to just type the name of that person that was in that receipt. And you're going to notice that once I type the name in there, it would actually find the document in my computer if my computer is set up to index. So it's pretty wild and powerful stuff to actually run OCR on your receipts. That way you can quickly uh, search them and find them. And I can even search within the receipt itself and you can see what that looks like. Anyway, this is a really, really great product. I think it's a great package overall. You've seen through this video, the setup, scanning straight to the computer, Wi-Fi, standalone scanning to email, the software that it comes with, uh, how quick it is, the features that it is. I think all in all, you will, lo you will love this product. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.